Carla Hall, Chef Carla Hall, is joining us now with something that has an expiring price. She's also taking over the show today. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. You bring what you call a grease catcher. Now, down south in my mom's kitchen, we would have called this a bacon drippings uh, can. 100%. Mm -hmm. I grew up calling it a bacon drippings can, <laughs> but this or is a cup or whatever a cup, it is. Right? Whatever the tin under the sink next to the stove. So I want you to see. So I have this. The great thing about my grease catcher is that it has this metal strainer inside it see this metal strainer so all of those little bits and bobs that you catch in the pan you can pour in there so I want you to see it even in your air fryer which is great for frying you're still going to get some grease so I'm going to take this chicken out the air fried chicken thighs air fried chicken thighs and I bet you use your air fryer you use I use it a lot. a lot I'll use it a lot but look. Chicken for chicken wings, and they get a little greasy in the bottom. Get a little greasy. I want you to see this. I'm gonna like move this over here. So I want you to see. I'm coming right in here. Now this one. She's coming I, in hot. Coming in hot, y'all. I dedicate to my chicken grease. Look at that oil coming in there, and those bits and bobs. I'll that, get caught in the strainer. Then you yes. can take the strainer, bark it in the garbage can, and then just rinse it out in the sink. Right. That's right. Or put it in the dishwasher. I mean, not the strainer can go in the dishwasher. Yep. Strainer, yeah. Yep. Now, this is a two cup capacity. Now, mm -hmm. mom kept an old coffee cup with a broken handle on the back of the stove, and that's I mean. where she dumped bacon drippings all the time. And then she would use a, do a spoonful of uh, bacon drippings to season green beans, exactly. vegetables, whatever she was making, right? That's right. Now, that's we've right. got colors, Miss Carla Hall. Yes. Uh, and talk we have about one it. of them that is brand new today, mm -hmm. and that brand new one is mushroom. Yes. I have 1,500 if you want the mushroom. Some might call it taupe. I call it mushroom. I call it mushroom because I like food. Mm. And look, we heard you all. People wanted a neutral color. They saw the bright colors. They wanted a neutral. I heard you. I am offering you that new color. And you'll see the word sweet heritage, which is the name of your collection. Yes. Then we also have it for you here in sage. We also have it for you in tomato. This color is called plum. Most limited with fewer than 200 in the plum. And then finally, the cornflower, which is that blue, 1200. Now, this is also top rated, but do you know that every single rating is five stars? Every single rating. That means everybody that has bought it and wrote a review has given it five stars. Thank you all. I thank you so much. I love this so much. I use it all the time. I have friends who call me, say they're using it on my on my Facebook page. They're saying they're using it. I mean, you have not lived until you have seasoned with bacon drippings. Okay. And don't put a G on the end of that word because it doesn't belong there. No, no, no G. It's no drippings. G. It's drippings. And then you, uh, I, I mean, pour them when they're still warm because they're going to pour more easily. Exactly. Just well, use uh, use oven mitts or whatever. And then you got a nice wide opening uh -huh. here. Plus, you've got a little way to catch all those little. Yes. Bits of bacon. So look at the get in here with the camera. I want you to see this pour. Look at this. All those little bacon bits, those drippings, they stay in the gr the top of the grease catcher. If your bacon gets a little too crispy, edges are burned. Uh -huh. uh, then the little burn pieces fall in there, and not into your precious grease That's that right. you need for seasoning. That's right. Now some of you may discard this, this grease. Look how clear. But if it's it is. bacon drippings, don't discard it. Look Use how clear it that is. For great flavor. Oh my word. So many of my recipes call for bacon se bacon dripping seasoning. In this zucchini cheese bread, I mm -hmm. have bacon drippings in there. You ever made flavor. just straight cheesy cornbread with bacon drippings? Yes, come on. How about what? some bacon cheese cornbread? Okay, how about baking it cold and put it in your biscuits with Stop the bacon? Stop it. All right. Everybody is jumping okay. in for. And now over a thousand of these are gone. Now let me show review yes. colors with you real quickly, and I know you're going to go to the microwave. Hang yep. on one sec. This is the um, brand new mushroom, mm -hmm. most popular. Now some might call that taupe. You and I call it mushroom. Taupe this mushroom. is sage. We also have tomato. This pretty color is called plum, and I have fewer than a hundred. My plum. purple people, you you want the plum? Are you a purple people eater? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then cornflower blue. Let me bring that cornflower out from the side there. Look at that pretty corn flour. And you can see the name of Carla's a, a wonderful line called Sweet Heritage. This is lovely. You need to know Carla grew up in Nashville. You understand from grits and biscuits. Yes. And, and grease catchers. Yes. I'm going to take some of this uh, fat out of the microwave. 
I want to show you how right in here, come in here, you see the bacon's here, set that aside. This is congealed. You can put this in the microwave to get soft again. Now you can do that or mm -hmm. you can go right into it with a spoon and take yep. it out congealed and then the heat of your pan will melt it. That's right. That's how mom used to do it. That's how mom used to do it. Here, I have a little spout here. See in there? I got that spout right there. I'm going to go right in here, pour in. I'm actually making some pierogies. We can oh, go in here. Come of on. Need some pierogies. In there. Uh, come on. We're going to brown these any way you like them. Come on. The fat is in there. It's delicious, you all. Because the fat is a vehicle, <clears throat> right? And it not only flavors, but it also helps to cook the food. That's right. And all these things are so important. How many are gone now? 1500 in this show. We're still very busy. Please continue to use QBC.com and your mobile app. There's a camera with the red light that I'm new here. This is uh, going very quickly. Uh, most popular is the uh, mushroom. Mm -hmm. Then I have sage, then tomato, then plum. Oh, plum just sold out. Up. Oh, Bye, plum. Bye, plum. Purple people showed up. And then <laughs> corn flour. It's a corn flour blue. It's so pretty. I love that name, corn flour. Um, really lovely. And Carla's coming back a lot more. You got some of your own items, plus yes. you're going to uh, poke around a little bit and see what else we're doing. That's right. That's She's right. taking over. Yes, she is. Hey, we're going to check in with Miss Julia because I understand she is making a cup of something delicious over in our beverage center. I don't call the curious.